everyone. Happy Monday, March 13th. I'm Beth Stevens. Paul Wontorek. Here at Broadway.com. At Broadway.com. And everyone's talking about Stella! That's right. the winter storm that's coming our way. But we've got something that's going to warm you up before that. We have a fabulous guest. Oh, my God. Mamie Paris, you guys. Mamie Paris. Grisabella. Grisabella. Uh, cats, obviously. Like, one of the best singers on Broadway. She's here. Mm -hmm. We're super excited. Her hair looks super good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's, it's true. Nice laugh. It's true. You got a good laugh. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we're excited she's here, and we're everyone. You know, we're not sure if we're going to be here tomorrow. I mean, I don't know they're where acting like New York City is is like they're acting like it's the end of the world, right? That's how this always goes. They're preparing. We're just preparing. We're hunkering down. Hunkering down. That's what we're doing. I hate that phrase. Sorry, but so that's weird. what's happening. Yeah. Hunk. And who names? We should have had like a hunk. Paul for hunkering down, like Broadway hunker, hunk, I don't know. Well, we already named, we were, Mamie and I were just talking about the sexiest man alive is a cat also. So. <laughs> Tyler Haynes. Tyler Haynes. <laughs> hey, Tyler. Hi, Tyler. I know you're watching. Uh, yes, yeah, so what, what, oh, well, a big, a show opened last night. Big show, big Broadway musical opened last night, a new musical. Come from away, come, I can't sing it, but no, I had a Jen Kalala song start that, you know that. Yeah, that, that song, Jen Kalala's so song, come stuck from in my away, head. Open last night. You know what was fun about this opening? Well, you went, so you probably Newfoundlers know were there. Newfoundlers, if that's how you say it. Whatever you say. I don't know. People but from Gander. There were so many Canadians, and they walk among us people. There were so many Canadians <laughs> that were guests, like four time Tony nominee Victor Garber. Like, He's Canadian? What? I okay. know. Chalina Kennedy. Mm -hmm. Paul Alexander Nolan. I saw her. I went there for a little bit. And someone we haven't seen on Broadway in a very long time, Louise Pitre. 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 The original. The original Donna Sheridan in Mamma Donna Mia Sher on I the forgot Broadway. Don I forgot her name, that she lady. Name. Donna yeah. Sheridan. Yeah. Uh, and Matt Roden was there, and he did a really fun uh, red carpet challenge, which will be up on the site shortly. And what he did was he quizzed uh, people on, like, flight lingo. Because, you know... Pilots and flight attendants, and they have their own way of talking. So it's really funny to watch people trying to figure out what the heck he means. So and I bet Canadian flight attendants also have their own language. They do? I'm specific sure. to Canada? I don't know. This is a very Canadian show, and uh, Justin Trudeau's going this week. If he can oh, get yeah. in. If he can get oh, in. Oh, I thought he has not gone yet? Wednesday. Oh. Not it, that I'm excited. Not that I'm excited. It's what fine. will he wear? What will he wear? <laughs> What will he say? Maybe the snow. Oh, but maybe Stella will delay him. That's true. Don't you feel like it should be named I'm Blanche sorry. Dubois? Who names these snowstorms? <laughs> Blanche. Okay. Sorry. Uh, we have some news. Okay. okay. What? What else? What? Well, let's start with our news. We have a new vlogger starting ah, this week. Ah, good one. It's a good one. It's Eva Noblezada, Kim in the Saigon. Sure. Give her some applause that lasts too long. Yeah. That's fun. She's super fun. I'm excited to see what she does. She's fun. She's young. She's gorgeous. What's she's it called? Cool. It's called American da, da, Dream. Da, 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 the American, yeah. She's American. This is her dream. Okay. Um, <laughs> and it's a big song in the show. Yeah. There's a car. Song, the, There's right, a car. Um, <laughs> the tire and cats, the car and, and the helicopter. I was like, I had a helicopter. I forgot. I think the helicopter is a little more famous. Maybe I'm wrong. Jonathan I don't know. Jonathan Price humped that. That Stop. They hump Stop. it. We it's not the this is not, you are you are besmirching. Nobody humps the tire, answer. nobody humps the helicopter. They Thank get on God. that plane. Okay. <clears throat> you're plane making me car. Oh, you're really making me very sure. nervous today. Hey. What else? We have a second touring company of Hamilton. I know. Starting next February in two thousand eighteen. Okay. Let me tell you where, because I know you want to know. It will go to Portland, Salt Lake City, Costa Mesa, Las Vegas, Des Moines, Cleveland, and Minneapolis. Okay. Whew. Who's going to be in that one? We don't know I don't yet. know. It's a whole other level of casting we got to worry about. It's a whole other level of casting. We have a lot of photos on the site today. Like what? Like Casey Levy and Tony Yazbek backstage at Carnegie Hall looking like that, people yeah, should look backstage They did at Carnegie Candor Hall. That was a Candor at New York Pops Candor concert. And I heard right. it was like crazy amazing. I, I couldn't go. But I, I, I got the full rundown of all the amazing songs they sang. In related news, Tony Yazbek is going back into Chicago tomorrow as Billy Flynn. Cool. If you watched me interview Charlotte D'Amboise... She kind of let that slip. I'm and Casey Levy is doing the, the lab the workshop lab of, Frozen. of Frozen. She's playing yeah. Elsa. Singing Let It Go. I assume they, they couldn't have cut that song. What? Are you kidding me? They're changing the name of the <laughs> show. That'd be like Let cutting memory. <laughs> no, yeah. no. Okay. Uh, Phantom headliner, James Barber, nice got a guy. Sardis caricature. Yeah, That's so it was, really and nice. it surprised him. It was a surprise. It was really nice. His wife, I think, brought him in, and it was a surprise that he got one. So and the, the Phantom cast was there, too, which is nice when people support each other. I did a one-on-one -on -one with Janie D, who's the star, star of Linda, off-Broadway at MTC right now. 
But in the fall, she's going to be in Follies. She's playing Phyllis mm. in London. So we need to book our tickets mm -hmm. to London. Mm -hmm. There's uh, Indecent, the Paula Vogel play, started rehearsals today. You went to that. I right? went. I went. You went. I met the cast. Oh, my God. Well, we have a hot shot of them, and then we'll have whatever you talk to them about. Which I one? did. A, okay, I did. A, I'll tell you. I did a pop up. <laughs> you know, Indecent is all about this play called God of Vengeance. Right. 1932. Apparently, I found out a little more about 1923. it 1923. Yes. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. I hope I didn't say it wrong in my intro. It's okay. Look for that. <laughs> um, but apparently it was a big, did you know this? That it was a big hit in the Yiddish theaters first, downtown, like on 2nd Avenue. And they were doing it in Yiddish. Uh -huh. And then when it moved to Broadway, they, they, it was translated to English. And suddenly everyone was like, this is outrageous. This is shocking. Because, and there was a lesbian kiss in it and all kinds of crazy things. Whores, whores and stuff. Um, and it, yeah, it was yeah. a big controversy. And so it was shut down on opening night. They 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 arrested all the actors. That doesn't happen. That didn't that happen. It hasn't happened. That didn't happen at Cats. No. It happened at Cats. It, no. It didn't. It happened oh, yeah, back then. But um, so I asked everybody because they were so shocked. So I asked everybody, "What's the most shocking thing you've ever seen on a, on stage?" Did any way anyone say anything about Jonathan Price humping a car? <laughs> no. I'm just wrapping it up with a bow for you people. But some people, you know, you'll say, "Watch it. It's fun." Okay. Anyway, I'm sorry. Um, and the last but not least, Mandy Patinkin. Went to Sunday in the park. Oh, I George. know. Mandy George. Patinkin, the original George. Yeah, that's a big deal. Because Burnett Peters, the original Dot, and Marie was there on opening night. Nobody's left. Dana Ivey. When's she going? When's Charles Kimber? You know. Oh, um, are you going to go through the cast now? I'm sorry. Really? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm leaving. Here comes Mamie Perry. Please welcome Mamie Perry. <laughs> and her hair. Oh, Fabulous. Hey. Hi, darling. Hi. Hi. You look good. Thanks. So do you. Uh, how's the Broadway? The Broadway's great. Yeah? The Broadway kitties. They all say hello. How's the tire? Is that a spoiler on the tire? No. I hope not. Oh, no. Not. There's a tire. It's not a spoiler. What yeah, happens Yeah, I think people tire? would know that there's a tire. Yeah, they should a... know. I yeah. mean, it, it's a pretty big part of the show. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you're singing that song. I am. And how's that going? I'm right? sorry. I probably have coffee breath. I didn't realize we'd be sitting this closely it's okay. to each other. So I probably have bad breath. We won't, they can't tell either way. Yeah. We'll keep it between um, ourselves. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. What were you asking? Uh, you singing that is the, and now I've talked to you before about this, and you said singing this song is actually pretty easy for you. Oh, like did I say it was easy? I don't know that I meant memory? it was easy. I, mean, I just mean it's, it's like in your, your it's in my wheelhouse, like as they word, say, yes. as they say. It's in my wheelhouse, yeah. so it feels very um, comfortable once you it's comfortable. when you know what you're kind of doing and where you're placing it, and it feels very natural. It yeah, it's good. You know that, and uh, so you you went into the show. When when did you start? October, mid-October. Right, right, October. Yeah. Um, everybody wanted this role. Every belt, every belter, it's a great role. beltress in town. I was, wanted it. Yeah. <laughs> so, so what was it like when you found out you got it? What was the audition like? Uh, lovely, lovely. Just sang the song. Yeah, and you know, did the material and. Did you get many like moves? Any like? No, no. Everything was very. Um, everybody was really friendly and and uh, like I said, I feel. I feel very at home with this material, mm -hmm. so I think in the audition I feel, you know, the more prepared and the more comfortable with the material you are, I feel like the better prepared, the more comfortable you feel in the audition. Because you've been prepared to do this since you were a kid, probably. I, I guess. Kind yeah, of, I mean, right? I listened to this over and over when I was a kid. Uh, so. Pablo also, what was your audition song? But I think it was Memory. Yeah, my audition song, it was the material. It was Memory plus Remark the Cat, which I sing in the first act, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Remark the yeah. Cat. Yeah. 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 <laughs> if, if, could, would you ever want to sing any of the other roles? Oh, absolutely. Cats? Are you kidding like me? Every one you? of them. All of them. Really? Oh, my God, all of them. Have you ever done, like, a Macavity? In or? my bedroom as a child. <laughs> as an 11-year-old. Macavity's in the street <laughs> that is called the Hidden Paw. I probably had, like, choreography that was, I'm yeah, sure, probably, terrible and probably. awesome all at the same time. <laughs> yeah, man. So where did, where, did <laughs> where, did <laughs> <laughs> where did you come from? Where did you grow up? Where did you come from? and an egg, and when the man loves the woman. <laughs> um, I, I was born in Texas, moved around a bit, and I was raised in Kansas City, Missouri. I went to high school in Kansas City, okay. and then I moved to New York. Okay, and yeah. what would, did you find work quickly when you got to New York? Yeah, I went to school. I went to AMDA here, and then okay. I just kind of started working. I'd always wanted to just experience everything and make a living doing it, so I worked everywhere. I did summer stock and regional theater and cruise ships and tours. And oh my god, really? Yeah. What were some of yeah. like, what did you do on a cruise ship? I love, I love I cruise ship shows. Oh, I sang. I, I sang cabaret. 
you know, twice a week and things like that. Yeah. 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 Abigail loved you and Legally Blonde at Pittsburgh CLO. Aww, you were amazing. Oh, my God. I love CLO. <laughs> that's, that's a great place to work. I love it. And what a great show. I love Legally Blonde. Roman wants to know, have you have a lot of questions. Have you had a chance to chat with Betty Buckley about that? Yes. 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 She, she, I remember she went to that. Yeah. I met Betty the, the first time I saw Cats or maybe I after I got the role and I was able to You were to in School of Rock. See, I was in School of Rock. Right. But I was able to come see the show, and it happened to be a night when Betty was going to be there, and they wanted to throw this party, kind of celebrating, you know. And Leona Lewis was there. And Leona yeah. Lewis was still yeah. doing the show at that time, so it was like the evolution, the, the Grisabella group, I right. guess, if you're looking for alliteration, which I always am. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I always. love alliteration. It's like such a go-to. Um, so I got to chat with her then, and it was pretty pretty great. She's great. She's a great woman. She's incredibly, uh, uh, such an icon, such talent. And I'm going to see her this great. week. I'm excited. Um, Oh, I'm excited to see you, Betty. Uh, who's the funniest cast member in Cats? Me? <laughs> Duh. I don't know. You mean just like in life? I, they're yeah, all pretty like, funny. Yeah. I mean, the fact that they're out there doing that eight times a week is hilarious to well, me. Well, that's actually interesting because there there's so many like hardcore dancers in the show. Oh, gosh, yeah. And triple threats. I mean, it, it's, Amazing. it's crazy. Amazing. Incredible. So when you're not doing the crazy dancing, mm -hmm. are you sort of in a different, slightly different world and Grizabelle also is the yeah, outcast I feel like and I've, some of that's sort know, of intentional that Grizabella yeah. is sort of like it kind of reminds me of, of, of when I was Alphaba in Wicked you're very intentionally kind of kept separate mm -hmm. from the rest of the cast mm -hmm. and I get it and it's it's great and as an actor sometimes that's useful but I did I feel like I tried to reach out I wanted to know everybody and, and be a part of the team because mm -hmm. it's better when you're all kind of a part of the team right. so and everybody's been so great they were all so welcoming and yeah, right. so I don't know who's the funniest. They're all pretty funny. Uh, what was it like? You Looking. you covered for uh, Kristen Chenoweth and on the 20th I did, century. You yeah. were in the ensemble yeah. and then you covered, right? Uh, what was it like going on in that role? That amazing. Such a, such a great role. Yeah. Anybody who saw that show out there, I mean, wasn't it? It was amazing, right? It was incredible. It was. I loved that show. And I loved doing it in my regular ensemble track every night, and I loved getting to play Lily Garland. It was a blast. Lily Garland. You get to be so out there and so yeah. funny and so like. What's her other name? Uh, Lily Garland and, um, oh, uh, oh my God, gosh, yeah, I'm when sorry. she first e comes up. N n n n somebody, somebody knows out there. Sorry, we'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, uh, gosh, uh, 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 how long does it take you to do the makeup? David wants to know. Um, I'm pretty quick now, so I can get it done in about a half an hour. Okay. But when I started, I was, it was sketchy and it probably took an hour. Uh, sorry. Um, a different David said, saw you in November and you gave me chills with a Aww. Z. Ooh, not just chills, but chills. <laughs> That's super chilly. That's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, Mildred Plotka. Mildred Plotka. Mildred Plotka. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, thank you, Josh. Um, See, I knew somebody would know. Somebody would know. And I, I, I just if I knew that person to... was, I would have exactly. known, he would have known. Um, Stephen wants to know, how do you take care of your voice? That is a really good question. I mean, I, when I teach workshops and things, I always tell young singers it's all about rest, it's all about hydration, it's mm -hmm. all about warming up and cooling down and... Those are all things that I do and that I live by. I try to get plenty of sleep. I try to rest when I know my voice needs to rest and not go out and talk and mm -hmm. shout at, out over crowds at bars. And uh, I drink a lot of water, and I don't. I try not to eat crap. I mm -hmm. don't drink soda. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, yeah, always warm up and have a nice cool down. That's how, basically. Emily said, you have an amazing voice. Thank and I you. cried listening to you sing Memory during the Macy's Parade. Aw, sorry. How sweet is that? It's Thanksgiving. Yeah, you probably shouldn't be crying. You, so you, you can do it anywhere. You can do it in the middle of <laughs> Herald Square and it works. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. That was a blast, yeah. man. Yeah, that was really Well, fun. when you were a kid, would you like me? Would you like watch that? Oh, like, gosh, yeah. yeah. Oh, we taped it. Deal. That was like when you yeah. videotaped things for no reason. Like you were going to go yeah, back and watch it. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm going to watch it again. Watch it again. Watch the parade. <laughs> the clowns. Who are you performing in? Inspirations. That's a good question. I mean, there are a lot. Um, I mean, obviously, especially with this role, like Betty Buckley, um, all the wonderful grand doms of musical theater, as we know them, Patti Lapone, mm -hmm. Elaine Page. Um, but I Do don't you want know. to be a grand dom of the theater? Is that like the... Like... I, I live my life as if I am. I love it, yeah. But no, I, but I, don't, yeah. I don't know. I, you know, I think I just want to be me, so I don't know yeah. whatever that entails. But yeah, there are a lot of... A lot of Many people, you know who inspires me? A lot of the people I've worked with mm -hmm. who I think are so 
terrific at what they do and also have incredible work ethics and also are great with uh, cast members and with crew and with well, that's key, creatives. Right? That's key, like people who you Oh, like, incredibly key. And that's like Audra people. McDonald, who was uh, my uh -huh. first Broadway show I did with Audra, and she's so terrific. Kristen Chenoweth, who is lovely, and what Andy Carl, who has one of the most incredible work ethics sensibilities on Broadway. Did All these people are, are truly inspirations. Cool. Yeah. Um, is, oh, people want to know if there's going to be a cast revival or cast recording. I don't, oh, think, I don't I think wish there, there was. Is, you know, it's, I really do wish they would, and not just because, like, I want a recording, but it's more that I love the changes they've made in the orchestrations. Yeah. Anybody who's seen this production, because I grew up listening to the original orchestrations, mm -hmm. and they're great, but mm -hmm. I love the way they've kind of I updated agree. them, and I wish they would. Um, this is a random question. Ian, favorite method of transportation, tire to the heavy side layer or define gravity? Ooh, that's <laughs> a tough question. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you could compare you them. You are up high often. That's a Yeah, thing. I that's am up high do. often. I don't mind. I, you know, they're both really fun. I, they're both so different. I think, I think each one suits the moment very well. Uh -huh. So if I was doing Wicked, I would definitely want to be on my levitator. And if yeah. I'm doing Cats, I definitely want to be on my tire. So you know, I have to say, you're tie. getting really good questions. People I really am? like you and they're really engaged oh, with thanks, you. Guys. Yes. Um, thanks if for your Elise questions. wants to know if you could switch roles with anyone else currently on Broadway for one night only, who would it be <gasps> and why? One night only. Switch roles with anyone. I know which one I want you to do. What? Which one? Norma Desmond. Oh my God, absolutely. <laughs> Someday. I would, oh, that's a good one. Yeah, if I could trade, and Glenn would be amazing in Cats. Yeah, so let's do Glenn it. If Glenn and I want to trade for a night, I'd it. be down. Yeah. Sure. Call her. Somebody. Glenn. <laughs> ring, ring. <laughs> <laughs> uh, people have stage mishaps. Are there any cat stage mishaps? Lisa wants to know about You know, I'm bad at, uh, at recalling mishaps. People always want to know. But something funny did happen just last night. And I think Sunday nights are tricky because we do a five-show weekend. So we do Friday night, right. two Saturday, and two Sunday. So by Sunday night, we're punchy. A lot of people have to call out because it's a very, you know, strenuous show dance-wise. And so sometimes you have a lot of understudies on, a lot of swings on, right. which is great. But it means things can kind of be a little, sometimes a little different. And you kind of have to roll with the punches. And last night... During the ball, I come out, and I'm skulking out, and I'm watching the ball, and I'm reliving my memories with the white cat, Victoria, played by a beautiful ballerina, Gina Paskogan. Yeah. And Gina's out there dancing and looking stunning, and her tail is starting to fall off. <laughs> They're, like, you know, tied around. And, and I see her every now and then. At first, I thought her arm was hurt because she wasn't moving her arm, and then I realized she was trying to hold on to the tail. And, <laughs> and they're doing this beautiful pas de deux, and she's, like, being lifted. And meanwhile, she's kind of trying to, you know, and then they have to let it go, and the tail's, like, flapping. <laughs> and then, finally, anyway, they get down on the ground for the cats. They're all kind of together moment. And I can kind of see her her dance partner, Daniel, another terrific guy in the show. He plays McCavity. And I see his hands kind of working like he's trying to tie the tail. And I notice when she stands back up and I'm about to get, you know, booted off stage, he's like tied the tail on but like tied it with like a bow and it's kind of crooked and it's kind of on the side of her hip like a side ponytail in the 80s and I it was all I could do to hold my Grizabella self together and that's not a great just like story. Bah! so there's one I love just that just last night I love that <laughs> Uh, 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 okay, uh, Pablo wants to know, would you like to do Evita? I would love you in Evita. I would love to do Evita. Have Evita. you ever done it anywhere? I never have, Bedroom? and it's definitely a dream role. I Bedroom. love singing that stuff. Rainbow High, oh my God. Yeah, uh, I love Brendan it. said in all caps, slay Queen Grizz. Oh, stop it. <laughs> you guys are the best. Slay. <laughs> It must be nice to get uh, to to you know be building a nice little career on Broadway. This is your I, this is or six. This show, is how many shows I don't done? know six. Um, I oh gosh, what I don't know. What was your first show? Count. One ten in the shade. Right. Okay. Around about Rebecca. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With Audra, right. One ten, drowsy. Yep. Ragtime. Mm -hmm. uh, on the twentieth. School of School Rock. School of Rock. Six. Cat. I was right. Six. six. You were right. Yeah. Lucky six. I love the number yeah, six. Yeah, that's nice. That's great. It's like, look, it's working. Yeah. I'm a Broadway, I love it. Broadway. That's what I want. And now you're Queen, Queen Grizz, all yeah, caps. I love it. Um, yeah. um, um, and then everyone's saying you rock on social media. So, I do? Yeah, that's what people oh, are wow, saying. Oh, wow, thanks. I so don't know. they should follow you, right? Yeah, I do more probably on Twitter than anywhere else. But I Twitter. enjoy Twitter because you can just say small, short things. Yeah. Like, you know. Small, short things. Small, What's your short Twitter things. handle? At Mamie Paris. M-A-M-I-E-P-A-R-R-I-S. Two right. words. Right. I love your name. So Thanks. original. Is that your real name? It's actually, it's my great grandmother's name. Oh. I'm actually Mamie Elizabeth Paris II. Wow. Don't I sound second. loyal? I love oh, it. Man. I've got a fortune somewhere no one knows about. <laughs> Not even me. I don't even know about it. Someday I'll find it. Uh, I literally, your jacket is awesome. <gasps> Thanks. Uh, this was oh, a let's, just end with the, let's, end, let's end with this random yeah, question yeah. Random. from, from Kirsten. Monk strap or McCavity? 
<laughs> I love wow. cats. I love cats questions. Now, I think that depends on the day. I mean, okay. come on. Okay. I mean, that's fair. You know, I like a guy who's put together, so I would say monk. Monk. But every girl loves a bad boy, so you know. Okay. Um, and Josh is asking what your Grizzabella backstory is. How does she get to the point where we meet her? I would suggest Josh watches the character study video. Yes, we did. that would be a great idea. It's You'll a learn really good a lot video there. we did. Look it up mm -hmm. on Broadway.com. It's a good one. Yeah, it's very detailed. Very detailed. Yeah, that was fun. It's also playing on American Airlines. If is it really? Up in the sky. You can, oh you can watch it in the I'm, sky. Speaking of, I want to know why I didn't get the, the flight lingo quite because my mom was a flight attendant. Oh I my like god! I would know all the flight lingo. Could have nailed Next time it. I want to play. Oh my god! You gotta I have watch to see the video. Come from away. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for being yeah, here. Yeah, thank you. Thank treat. you for Give having me. me. Oh, yeah, yeah of course. Because well, I just moment. wanted to embrace. Uh, and and go, oh, my God, go see Cox. Neil Simon Theater, 52nd Street. Oh, yeah, the <laughs> Carl's right across the street from Right across the street. Right the street. You can, like, wave. That's cool. You can wave across, yeah. across 52nd yeah, Street. Yeah, I can't wait. They're going to open soon. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and come back tomorrow at 5 o'clock. We'll have another awesome guest. But she's she's pretty great. All right. Thank you, Mary. Okay. Let's, let's have thank some applause. I think we deserve it. Thank you, really. No, thank you. Oh my god, thanks for having me.